All right, talking Patriots, Texans, it's Andy Gresh. Uh, Gresh, before we get into this specific matchup, yeah. specific to the Patriots, we know they've won two in a row, their best win of the season against the Ravens. What is your confidence meter uh, of this team right now, and are they actually getting better week to week? Yeah, I think they are getting a little bit better, Yanni, but it really comes down to, I think, health of the offensive line and how they match up against any individual team defensively. Like, to me, they were made to be able to stop Baltimore. Belichick felt good good about it it obviously translated on the field any team that could spread the Patriots out I don't know about the pass rush and dealing with a run mm. quarterback so like in terms of dealing with Arizona I think that's going to be pretty difficult this week at times it's going to be difficult right. it's really on the Patriots offense to make sure that they play that complimentary football so the defense can either swallow someone up or give them some buffer to be able to make some mistakes. It was around this time last year, the Patriots were rolling. They saw Houston on a Sunday night. That was the night that Brady threw his helmet and was really getting frustrated. Mm -hmm. um, this Texans team is not that team. This Ooh. Texans team only has a couple wins. Uh, they will not be in the playoffs, uh, but uh, from a perspective of game planning. They still have Deshaun Watson. How different is this Houston team that we're going to see Sunday versus last year? Yeah, I think in terms of schematically, it's pretty close. You're not going to change up very much what they do because they're an explosive offense, right? They've got fuller and wide receivers on the outside. We know they have different running backs and really, it's Deshaun Watson. That's the guy you got to worry about because at times, Johnny, he's been their offense. I think the Texans are 24th in rushing. Mm -hmm. They're not great at running the ball, but they make chunk plays in the passing game game and they make plays off of the legs of Deshaun Watson. So really it's slow down the quarterback first. Then if other people beat you, then fine. But don't let the quarterback beat you. I kind of think it was the same way last year. I think very much it's the same way this year. All right. Specific to the Patriots offense, Damian Harris is having his coming out party. Um, who would you compare him to in, in either the Patriots over the last 20 years or in the NFL? And what is his upside in terms of a player? Um... I would say he reminds me a little bit of Mark Ingram okay. in terms of he's a solidly built guy who can run through contact. I think he and Sony Michelle are very similar. And look, you know, you give Sony Michelle some of the holes that Damian Harris has had and the fact that the Patriots have figured out, and we'll get into this on New England Nation, these wide receivers are a big part of the run game right now. Mm. And that's why they can run outside. I think you can do that with Sony Michelle whenever he's back. Damian Harris looks great. He takes care of the ball. To me, there's a Mark Ingram feel about him, but they're going to have to start throwing it to him or else we're going to get into the same scenario that we were where, oh, Sonny Michelle's in the game. They must be running the ball. Right. They've got to diversify, yeah. especially with Harris here coming up. So when you put him on the field, it's not an automatic tell. All right, we'll be talking about Pats and Houston Texans all week with Andy Gresh. Much more from the sports